The Amazon is well known for a good number of reasons. It's the greatest river in South America and the largest drainage system in the world. The Amazon River is also known to the world for its vast ecosystem, and in the diversity of this river, mankind has been able to discover a lot of crazy beings. One such being is the electric eel. Electric eels are scientifically called Electrophorus electricus, and they don't particularly belong to the family of eels rather than they belong to the family of knife fish. Until the discovery of two additional species in 2019, the genus was classified as monotypic, with this species the only one in the genus. They live in the murky streams and ponds of the Amazon and Orinoco basins of South America, feeding mainly on fish, amphibians, birds, and even small mammals. As air breathers, they're bound to come to the surface frequently. While electric eels still have gills, they carry out most of their breathing by gulping in a good amount of air and then swimming back down to the surface of the water. These electric eels exceed 8 feet in length, which is more than average height of a human and weigh around 44 pounds. They have long cylindrical bodies and flattened heads and are generally dark green or grayish on top with yellow coloring underneath. The average lifespan of electric eels in the wild is still unknown, but under human supervision, males typically have a lifespan of 10 to 15 years, and females generally live 12 to 22 years. By now, you must be wondering about the significance of the name electric eel. The reason why they're known as electric eels is that they can produce a jolt of 600 to 900 volts that's enough to stop a human heart, because at 600 volts, the current through the body may be as great as 4 amps, causing damage to internal organs. Their bodies contain electric organs with about 6,000 specialized cells that store power like tiny batteries. When threatened or attacking prey, these cells will discharge simultaneously. This unlucky caiman thought he would feast upon an electric eel, but the eel used its electrocution to punish the predator for its final mistake. Electric eels produce shocks thanks to the electrogenic cells they possess. These cells can produce voltage, and when the signal from brain arrives, these cells get activated and deliver a shock. An average shock from an electric eel lasts for two thousandths of a second. Electric eels have three basic levels of discharge, i.e. small shock waves, a little buzz to stun its prey, and a nasty full blooded jolt of several hundred volts. Let's dive into the details of these discharge levels. The electric eels not only use their charge-producing properties to evade predators, but also they use it as a means of communication and navigation in the deep sea, where visibility is extremely low. They also use their shock to stun and prey. Eels use their high-voltage electric discharge to remotely control prey by transcutaneously activating motor neurons. Hunting eels use this behavior in two different ways. When prey has been detected, eels use high voltage to cause immobility by inducing sustained, involuntary muscle contractions. On the other hand, when prey is hidden, eels often use brief pulses to induce prey to twitch, which causes a water movement detected by the eel's mechanoreceptors. Once grasped in the eel's jaws, prey is often subdued by sandwiching them between the two poles, i.e. head and tail of the eel's powerful electric organ. The resulting concentration of the high-voltage discharge delivered at high rates causes involuntary fatigue in prey muscles. You must have been wondering by now, how do these electric eels not get affected? by their shock. Well, this trait does affect the eel as well, because sometimes, because of the electric current through their heart will kill them instantly. So they have to be very careful. However, accidents occur anyway. They reduce the chances of electrifying themselves by stretching their bodies in a shape that prevents the electric current from passing through their heart and other vital organs, which only make one-fifth of the eel's whole body. When they're charging up, they strengthen into a line segment very much like a straight edge. This way, the electric current only runs parallel to their tail and behind the heart. Sometimes, when charging, they curve themselves in a U-shape. This provides the greatest current density that they can achieve in their prey, which is near the end of the U. However, their heads have to be positioned just slightly beyond the distal end of their tail. Even the slightest miscalculation can cost an eel its life. When eels are in good numbers in a small pond, all of them die if even one of them panics and discharges. Thankfully, there are only a few documented instances of people dying from an electric eel shock, but a single jolt could debilitate a person long enough to cause him or her to drown, even in shallow water. Multiple shocks could cause a person to stop breathing or go into heart failure. However, the shock from an eel depends on its size as well. The response of an electric eel depends on how much of a threat they believe you are. Interestingly, they can also bite, and one example of that is diver Matt Butcher. Matt was underwater trying to communicate with the eels he'd known for a long time. 
but the moment he pulled a treat from his bag, an eel darted towards him and bit off his finger. In any case, it's advisable to stay away from such monsters when you're not in a controlled environment, because these deadly beasts lie in the top branches of the food chain and can pose a serious threat to your life. What do you expect? Even a bull shark doesn't go on to prey on an electric eel, as it prefers to find an easier and less electric prey. So which of these facts about electric eels was the most interesting to you? Give your opinion in the comments section below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more.